Good morning, Hero Wars fans. Today's topic is Guild Wars and the stories related to them. Most of the people who are participating in Guild War are attacking the defense bases indicated by the red dots from the operational commander in the guild. In some guilds, the same person is always in charge of the operation, while in others, the operation commander changes daily. In my guild, a French guildmate was the operations officer for a year until early last spring, but since he retired, I have been the operations officer. Since I basically live an unemployed life, I am usually at home at 6 p.m. Japan time when the guild wars start, and I am not afraid of becoming an operational commander. Unemployed. Guild master by profession. In a way, it's amazing that he's so detached. Selecting attack targets in Guild War may seem like a daunting task when you are new to the game, but after two weeks of experience as an operations commander, you will be able to finish selecting attack targets in about 10 minutes. In Guild Gravity, the job title of all 29 Guild members is set to General, and anyone can change the attack target instructions themselves if they notice inappropriate attack instructions. Since this is a game that will be played for a long time, I think it will be more beneficial in the long run if all guild mates, not just the executives, develop the ability to think about the operational commands of guild war rather than worrying about minor mistakes on a daily basis. I currently run my current guild with these ideas in mind, but when new guild mates come into the guild, they sometimes don't understand these ideas and act in ways that don't make sense to their old guild mates. I'll tell you a story that actually happened to me in my guild. There are 20 guild champions in the gold league and 15 in the silver league and below, and the only thing to consider when directing your guild war attack targets is whether you can score full points in the day's battle. If you are playing against a weaker guild with an overwhelming difference in strength, you may be convinced before the battle that you can get a perfect score in the guild war that day if you have a strategy in place. In that case, the red points in the attack order will be attached to all enemy defense bases from the beginning, but if you know that it is impossible to get full points, you will have to abandon attacking some defense bases from the beginning. This means that some buildings in the 10 defense locations will not receive red dot attack orders. As you can see from this skilled war map, an attack on the foundry was not part of the original plan. However, one of our guild mates made an unexpected attack on the foundry. At 9 p.m. Japan time, guild mate Weintraub attacked foundry, who had not received instructions to attack. When I noticed his unscheduled attack, I was puzzled at first, but as soon as I saw the local time in Brazil, where Weintraub lives, I understood why he attacked Foundry. On this day, Weintraub had only been instructed to target one attack. Because I was planning to use Weintraub's second attack as a rear guard attack on the base where the first attack failed. However, Weintraub, who had only been a member of Gravity for a short time, was impatient with the lack of instructions to attack the second target, so he attacked the Foundry, which no one had been instructed to attack. The important thing here is to know that there are guildmates on the other side of the internet who are playing Hero Wars in a completely different life environment than you are now. Simply put, for guildmates playing overseas with the time difference, 9 p.m. Japan time was 9 a.m. Brazil time. Weintraub didn't ask for instructions to attack via chat or anything because it was time for him to go to work or school. The guild I run, Gravity, is made up of guildmates from 12 countries around the world, so the official chat language is English. The hardest part of running a multinational guild is not the language barrier, but the time difference. Russia is the birthplace of the Hero Wars, so Guild Wars time is based on the most comfortable time zone for Russians living in Moscow. For those of you who play Hero Wars on Moscow time, Guild Wars starts at noon and ends at 11 pm I'm sure I'm not the only one who finds it most comfortable to play Guild War at this time. Now, back to Weintraub, when I asked him why he attacked Foundry. He said that he was in a hurry because he didn't have much time. I knew it, he's participating in the guild ward during his busy time before work. That's why I would like to ask the management to extend guild wars opening hours if there is an opportunity. If we can extend the end time of guild war for two more hours, it will make it easier for more players to participate in guild war. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.